I'm Becky. And I'm Bo. And this is The Right Sites. And in this segment of The Right Sites, we're going to show you what we think are top five things to do on the island of Roatan. Now, we've been here a month, and even after a month, we didn't get to do... No, we missed a few things, so we have to come back. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> we aren't uh, by any means uh, extreme experts, but after spending a month here, getting to know a lot of people, I think we know a lot about the island. So if you're traveling to Roatan, uh, you're either on a uh, cruise ship maybe, or just going to be here a week or two, maybe uh, you'll like to see some of the things that we would suggest uh, to do. Yeah. So uh, for example, uh, most islands have a lot of excursions you can go on, some neat things to do. Roatan has it all. Uh, which, uh, which excursion would you uh, want to go on? Um, I think as far as touristy excursions, the Dolphin Encounter and Snorkel at Anthony's Key was one of my favorites because it was so unique that you got to actually swim with the dolphins for a while. You didn't just have the little show where you touch them and they do tricks and things. You actually swam in the pen, pen with yep. them and there was probably eight to ten of them. I don't know. It was really cool. You were just right there with them. Yeah. So. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, the dolphin excursion at Anthony's Key uh, was really cool. Now, Anthony's Key is only about a mile or two outside of the West End, so it's very easy to get to. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, people that can take you over there. Uh, it's uh, about a half a day adventure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Becky said, make sure you do the snorkeling with the yeah. dolphins. Yeah, wow. you got to add that in. Yeah, so if you uh, love dolphins, or especially if you've never done a dolphin excursion like that, uh, that's outstanding. I think one of my favorites uh, that's very unique were the sloths. Oh, They're, the Mayan yeah. jungle? The Mayan that's, jungle That's canopy. only your favorite because the monkey punched me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. During that excursion, a monkey punched uh, Becky. Uh, it was pretty funny. It was yeah. funny. <laughs> now, there are several sloth adventures on the island. I, I'm not really even sure how many. I think maybe four or five, may, yeah. maybe even more. Yeah. Uh, we only did one. We did the Mayan jungle canopy. Uh, but we've heard there's other great uh, sloth adventures too. But holding the sloth was really cool. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. And it's unique. You can't do that on yeah. every island. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I think uh, number uh, number one, uh, do one of the really cool excursions that uh, some islands don't have. I mean, not not every place you have sloths, right. uh, or even a really cool dolphin uh, experience. Mm -hmm. so, definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right, number two. Uh, let me think. How about uh, the beaches here? Oh, yeah. yeah. you got to go and just hang out. West Bay Beach is so nice. Which one is your favorite, West Bay? Uh, I, no, I, well, West Bay Beach, yes. Mm -hmm. West End more for the food and culture, but um, West Bay Beach is probably, it's a little nicer to walk on and and uh, the sand. And I, I don't know. Yeah. Half Moon Bay is nice too at West End, so it's hard Kinda to Kind of depends say. on what you want. Now, yeah. the I think the typical beach when most people think about beaches, West Bay Beach is the one. Probably, it's uh, yeah. about a half a mile long or so, beautiful sandy beach, uh, resorts that line it vendors all over, restaurants, so it's your typical beach vacation with all the activities uh, that you can imagine. So uh, West Bay Beach uh, is really good. Now we really only went to two beaches, yes, West yeah. Bay Beach and then Half Moon um, Bay, Bay in the West End. Right. Uh, so we're, uh, we don't have any knowledge of other beaches. I know there's one way out of the oh, east way end. At, yeah way I out can't on remember camp the bay. name right now camp bay yeah. beach camp bay beach is supposed to be really awesome but here's the deal yeah. if you're uh, at the port area or if you're at west end uh west uh, bay it takes about an hour and a half to two hours maybe yeah, even a little bit longer drive. to drive there but they said it's beautiful it's we just be didn't beautiful. make it all the way out there yeah, yeah. this trip next this trip. time so yeah, half um, Half Moon uh, Bay Beach in the West End, I think, is the prettiest beach. Yeah. Uh, because it's kind of a bay, you know, yeah, obviously it's really shaped like a half a moon. It remind me of Cane Bay. In Cane Bay and St. Croix. Croix. Yeah. So, um, and they both have snorkeling, and we yeah. didn't snorkel at Half Moon Bay, but we should have because when we ran into some people yesterday, they saw a moray eel right off yeah. the coast right there, so snorkeling. But we saw the five eagles. Yeah, five of Eagle Rays. Snorkeling at uh, West. near Infinity Bay at, at West Bay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so those are the beaches that we would recommend. I think most people would like to like to do. How about uh, maybe a unique thing in Roatan? The unique thing for me, like if you want an adventure that you really can't get any uh, any place else, 
I would go out to the East End to Punta Gorda. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's very cultural. Yeah, so that'd very, be top three. I guess that'd be the yeah, number, number three. Number and three. And again, these aren't all in order, right. but uh, Punta Gorda is kind of the original settlement on the island of Roatan. Um, I think in the late 1700s, um, some um, people who were under British rule in St. Vincent were deported here because they basically refused to be slaves. Right. Uh, and they were rebelling against the British, so they were shipped here to Roatan. They were the, uh, called the Garifuna people, and so they landed in Punta Gorda, and they established a uh, community there, and the Garifuna people now live in all parts of this uh, area of the Caribbean. But if you go out to Punta Gorda, probably on a Sunday, and yeah. they have the drums going and stuff. And I bet if you're here when a cruise ship is yeah. here, they probably have their costumes on. And it's yeah. probably a little even more dramatic than yeah. it was for us because now it's kind of a low tourism season. Right. So. so they have locals there that go out. They uh, play uh, very loud music and yeah. the traditional a dance. Fun. A lot of fun. Restaurants. You can get true Garifuna food out there. And crafts. Like there's yeah, all crafts. kinds of street vendors. Yeah. and. And there's also the, uh, I think it's called the Garifuna Cultural Center. Yes. You can go in there and learn about the culture. Uh, and there's, uh, they're real, really friendly there. Uh, they'll tell you all about its history and its culture. And what was that guy's name? His name was uh, Valentine? So, no. Uh, something like that. No, one Valentine. But yeah. Oh, I'll think of it. Yeah, we'll think he of it. He was really nice. Yeah. It wasn't Cliff. No. It wasn't Cleve. <laughs> Cleve is another oh. guy we've heard of. But. Uh, Swiss. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss was chocolate. his name, Swiss chocolate. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, the he guy really there nice. that we met, uh, he called himself Swiss chocolate. Yeah. So anyway, the, uh, the Punta Gorda area on the east end of Roatan, I think is one of those unique experiences. So that's, uh, that's number three. <laughs> yes, very humid out here right now <laughs> in Roatan. Uh, just barely a breeze blowing. All right, number four, how about, here's a tough one. Uh, if you could only go to one restaurant here, let's say you're only here for a day, uh, I'm, I'm going to force you to pick one. Uh, Which one would it be? Uh, can I please pick two? No, <laughs> just one. <laughs> um, for me, I guess because of if you're wanting something local, some local food, um, and because I love the pie, I would probably have to pick Creoles because they had the awesome rotisserie chicken and that um, there was a salad that was really good made with couscous, yeah, I can't yeah. remember the name of it, um, but they have, you know, the rice and beans and just different things, but the coconut cream pie was to die yeah, for, so if I had to pick, it'd have Creoles. to be Creoles. Yeah, Creoles is located in the West End. It's almost at the very end of the street going west on the main street in West End. So you just go all the way down close to the end. Uh, you can't miss it. It's on the left, uh, traveling west. It's a very cool location too. It's uh, kind of got a canopy of trees and uh, lights uh, right on the ocean, of course. A very cool place to eat rotisserie chicken. And like Becky said, the coconut cream pie, some of the best uh, we've ever had. Since he can't tell me what to do, Sandy Bay is also one of my favorites. Well, actually, <laughs> that Sandy was uh, that was actually my top <laughs> pick. So she jumped in there very quickly. My top pick is Sandy Buns. Oh, uh, so good. Now, Sandy Buns and Creoles is totally different. Yes. Um, Creoles is chicken. Sandy Buns is a uh, Texas style restaurant, and they serve breakfast and lunch. For breakfast, they have you know any, anything you can uh, imagine. But the main thing that they do is the um, biscuit, biscuits and gravy, the sausage biscuits and gravy. The biscuits are homemade, uh, they're jalapenos, they're nice and spicy. The uh, sausage gravy is spicy. And uh, we ate there a few times for breakfast and um, it's probably the best sausage yeah, gravy really and biscuits good. we've ever ha had. Really homemade, and then for lunch, go back for lunch <laughs> and they have Texas style lunch. In particular, uh, pulled pork, they smoke it off site, bring it in and also their brisket. Their brisket was the most tender, 
and uh, just it was. I don't know if we were just extremely hungry that, but that that just sticks with me as one of the best lunches we've had. Yeah, on it, was, it, was really it was just so good. And again, that's not really an island food, right, of course, right. but these are a couple of Texans that moved down here a, a few years ago uh, with a dream to just have a cool restaurant. It's right on Half Moon Bay in the West Great End. Location. Well, yeah. we had so much good food. Oh yeah, really. Yeah. They, they, so these are just, we just two ate of ours. Kismet yesterday for the first time. Mm -hmm. It was good. I mean, uh. and we've got a couple of other videos that you can check out on other uh, food locations. But we're keeping this short. Right. You know, the top five. <laughs> Fairly short. And so, uh, you know, number four as far as, far as restaurants go. Uh, Becky chose Creoles. I chose Sandy Buns. But again, there are many, many places to eat. But those were the two oh, that Beecher's. were out there. Beecher's was good too. Uh, all right, but we're only doing uh, two. <laughs> Sorry. You can check out Beecher's on another video. It's called West Bay Fun. Yeah. Beecher's is a great place as well. All right, so the last one. Have we been Number counting? five. Number five. Number five. Uh, again, these are not in order, but obviously what Rotan is uh, known for all around the world is diving and snorkeling. I mean, that's what it's known for. That's what brings a lot of people to Roatan. Uh, if you don't dive, you can snorkel. Mm -hmm. it's got Lots some great, of great snorkel, snorkel spots. Yeah. And uh, you see really cool things snorkeling too. Yep. We saw, like I said, I mentioned it earlier. We saw those five beautiful eagle rays just snorkeling yep. uh, in West Bay. Yeah, West Bay Beach. Uh, right at the end of the beach, you enter there. Um, in fact, in our video called uh, West End versus West Bay, we show you how to get out to the reef to snorkel. Right. And it's a really cool reef. Um, you know, it, it uh, is as good as any oh, of them. It on. is, and and they said a lot of people do night snorkeling out there yeah, too. That so would be some cool. have seen octopus and yeah. the night creatures, which is really cool. Yeah. So uh, snorkeling, there's a lot of different places to snorkel. Of course, West Bay Beach uh, and Half Moon uh, 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 Half Moon Bay in the West End, but and I'm there's sure other on the places. East side, as well. there, are, yeah. there are places too. But then diving. Diving, of course, we're also divers. If you are not a diver and you're comfortable in the ocean, wow. You should really learn how to do it and come to Rotan. Definitely. My all-time favorite was the shark dive. Shark dive, We yeah. ended up doing it twice because we loved it so much. Yep. It was so cool. Yeah, the shark dive was, uh, it was a challenging dive, yeah, too. Because, it is a little uh, bit. <laughs> yeah. You, you get out about, I'd say, about a mile out in the uh, ocean. It's on the south side of the island, so the ocean over there is uh, rough. And the current's really strong. You have to hold on to a rope to get down to the bottom. You have to pull yourself down to the bottom. You use some air getting yeah, down there. <laughs> you typically use about a third of your air just getting to the bottom. So yeah, it was challenging, but it was so worth it. But the shark so dive, yeah. Cool. The shark dive was And awesome. I found shark teeth. Shark teeth, yeah. That was fun. Yep. Um, and then, of course, uh, diving off the catamaran, that oh, wicked that was fun. resort yep. setup. That was so much yep. fun. That was, you said, it was one of your favorite days. It was one of days. my favorite uh, days here on the island, diving off the catamaran. We, of course, uh, did the people little, were fun, too. Yeah, so. We uh, did a little lionfish hunting. We went over to a little place called Hole in the Wall. Yeah, that was uh, that's fun. That's another video uh, of ours if you want to see the details there. But the catamaran, the night dive here was, oh, was yeah. fabulous. Oh, we saw a great octopus. Oh, yeah. It was really cool, yeah. big one. Yeah, yeah, the night dive was really good. Uh, too. So anyway, those are our top five things to do on the island of Roatan. If you've been here and you have your favorites, why don't you leave a comment below? Uh, let us know what your favorite is so that other people can check out uh, other things to do on Roatan because we plan on coming back one day. Oh, for sure. We want to do some of the same things, but we want to explore different areas too. And if you're looking for a place to stay, we yeah. can at least recommend two places. Yeah. Seascape Condos is amazing. This, that's where we've stayed this whole month. It's so beautiful here. The view is incredible. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then we did a video for Dustin and Tracy Fisher for Fisher's Landing mm -hmm. Boutique Hotel. We haven't stayed there, but it is beautiful. Yeah. So you can't go wrong with either one of those places in our opinion and yeah. there's certainly plenty more that you yeah, can choose a lot lot more as well so that's it for the top five don't forget to subscribe we'd really appreciate it and of course that's free of charge uh, so we hope you enjoyed these top five and uh, when you're on the island of Roatan just let us know what your favorite things to do uh, is while visiting this uh, beautiful place and tell everybody that Becky and Bo say hi <laughs> and we'll be back <laughs>